Welcome back. Mobile County DA Ashley Rich will not have to face any challengers for her office, but she says she still has to face off on another big issue, which is funding for her office. News 5's Jacqueline Quinn has an update on this story. John DeBlaze and Heather Keaton, both convicted of killing their children. Mendy Kent, found guilty of using children for sex. And Orlando Nichols, convicted after shooting a man dead. These are just a few of the more than 40,000 cases that the Mobile County District Attorney's Office has handled in the past 11 months. We have 22 assistant district attorneys, and by law, we are supposed to have 28. But due to a lack of funding from the Mobile County Commission, District Attorney Ashley Rich says ADAs are overwhelmed. Her office estimates in 2014, each ADA was assigned 1,974 cases. I'll give you a prime example of how the public is affected. It just varied this morning. Um, we had a case that was ready for trial, and we did not have an assistant district attorney to handle that case. So that case had to be reset, and it happens over and over again, sometimes stretching out cases for months. Rich has had to sue the county for more funding. I'm trying to move private money that I have access to. When I say private money, it would be district money and or uh, some, some funds that I have access to it because I can't get a, any help uh, to, to get county money. However, the other two commissioners, Connie Hudson and Mercuria Ludgood, disagree. They say there isn't any money out there that hasn't already been committed to other services. The, the sexual predators, uh, the, the thugs and the thieves that we've got roaming our streets, it's just going to get worse if we don't try to fix the problem. Until she gets the money, Rich says she will keep asking the county, but the lack of funding will not hold her back from prosecuting criminals. We will never in this office say we're not going to prosecute that case because it costs too much money. I will find the money to make sure that we adequately prosecute cases in this office. In Mobile, Jacqueline Quinn, News 5. And so far, it has also cost the county more than $100,000 to fight the lawsuit against D.A. Rich.